All right, Alana, so many people that I talk with say they are over it, and maybe we're almost there. Glenn, I want you to forward those people to me. I am <laughs> right there with them. I know it's April. A lot of people are ready for drier conditions, but that's just not the case. This, though, is winter's last stand. The storm system is one of the most significant of the season. You're looking at North Ogden as the snow comes down. Thank you to Brian for sending that our way. We've got moderate snow bands out there and cold temperatures, even colder air in place today than where we were yesterday. Temperatures below freezing in hitting the freezing point in Salt Lake, but we're 30s in Logan and Provo. Look at the 20s over in the West Desert. It's 40 in St. George. Goodness gracious, and we're not finished. No, we've got commutes that are going to be impacted into tonight. Very cold temperatures in southern Utah. Clear skies allowing for that hard freeze warning to go into effect near Zion National Park. Springdale, Laverkin going to get real cold. So 18 inches of snow fell in Woodland Hills. And so what do you do on your first April Tuesday? Well, you grab your snowblower and you clear off the deck. Thanks to Peggy Sorensen for sending us this video. The Utah County benches getting slammed. And since Saturday, we have seen monumental snow totals. 25 inches in Logan. Randolph pretty close behind. 17.7 on the Bountiful Bench, where it continues to snow and lake effect possible for the overnight. 15 and a half in West Jordan, west side of the valley, getting really healthy amounts towards daybreak. West Valley, a foot in Eden. Nephi, just shy of that. Salt Lake International, measuring 9.5 inches since Saturday. Huge storm. It's a big storm. Nine inches in Tooele, eight and a half in Lehigh. And there are areas that will pick up more. This trough is going to move to the east, but as it does, it will start to clear. We are just unsettled and in the last few hours. You can see how those snow showers in northern Utah, they're still impacting us. Live view from Snow Basin, the mountains getting hit so hard. Snow continuing to come down for the northern mountains. Very high avalanche danger. It's why Little Cottonwood is closed. We've got high danger for the entire Wasatch Range, the western Uintas, central Utah and the skyline area, and it's not a surprise why. This is late season snow, so it's heavy, it's wet, and it could easily slide, so we've got to be really careful. And there's more on the way. Yeah, lake effect potential for Salt Lake, Davis, and possibly Tooele County. It's looking pretty good, though, for Utah County even to tap into it for tomorrow morning. It's out there now. Additional snowfall is expected. Let's walk through the timeline here. The future cast gives you a really good idea of when you will see the heaviest snowfall in your backyard. You can see snow showers out there by 7 p.m. Central Utah by ABC4 News at 10. Still seeing snow showers over the I-15 corridor. Also, as you look towards the western end of the Great Salt Lake and up in Cache Valley, we have active skies holding on. Last night, the commute after work was just terrible. This morning, repeat performance. We could see it again. Here's why. Look at that band there. By 5 a.m., that's the lake effect potential. And again, Davis, Salt Lake, and Utah counties could see that. We know the Uintas will continue to see snow. So will the mountains. This system not totally clearing until tomorrow afternoon. You're going to watch as those showers kind of taper off to the east by tomorrow afternoon. High pressure is knocking and going, do you want to warm up or do you want a pattern shift? Because that's what we're going to see, folks. Very dry conditions by Thursday at 6 p.m. And we will stay dry. And we have a rapid warm up on the way. That brings its own set of concerns. But here's how much additional snowfall we should expect for our northern valleys impacted by that lake enhancement. 3 to 6 for the benches, 6 to 12 for the mountains. Cottonwoods could go as high as an additional 16. We'll see what happens as we get through the overnight. Temperatures stay 20 to 30 degrees below seasonal norms for tomorrow. We've got the 30s, 30s in Price, 50s in St. George, 40s in the Four Corners area. Here's that rapid warm-up. This is a concern because as we look at St. George, we go from the 50s to the 60s to the 70s. And I say, stay, Bob, stay. No, we actually go 80s for Easter Sunday. And we've got a lot of snow in the mountains in southern Utah that's going to see accelerated runoff there. Wasatch Front sees snow showers for tomorrow. Morning commute is going to be impacted. Then we turn off the spigot, it looks like, for an extended period of time. Temperatures get into the low 60s for Easter Sunday. It's like everybody yeah, 